I've been here before. Fuck. That's the fucking balcony where I got the first update. Let's, uh... Try back down here. Might have been one that I missed. That requires electricity. I don't fucking know. Fantastic. I'm lost. Like, where do I get this updated, like, key card from? There's nothing there. Pick it up, Yuito! Fuck! My pleasure. There are more others than I expected. I, expected I was that. right to bring you with me. If we take too much time getting there, they may detect us and move the research data to another location. Whoops. I'm glad I came. Why were you looking into the research at the old OSF hospital anyway? I apologize if this sounds harsh, but I'll be honest with you. While I was observing you, I feared that I might lose my power one day as well. Oh. Well, you are a dud like me. Yes, I began looking into the research the government did on powers to alleviate my fear. I was hoping I would discover a way to treat the loss of powers. Is that why you asked for my help? Yes. Since you already know my secret, I didn't have to lie to you. It was rather selfish for me to ask you. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you asked me to help, no matter the reason. So, did you find what you were looking for? Unfortunately, no. In fact, I found the opposite. You don't mean... Yes. It's data on eradicating psionic hormones from human brains with drugs and completely erasing powers. What the fuck? Why would they research something like that? It seems their plan was to use it as a weapon to depower enemy psionics. And now Sayron is continuing that research. If it's implemented, it'll be a huge threat to the OSF. Since we use our powers as a weapon. And many more people will face discrimination as duds. We have to stop this research. Let's find that data and erase it. Hmm. Use it well. So is this now good for me to use uh, at the door down here? Or is that going to require a different one? Hmm? That's the question. Oh, yeah. yeah. I already been back here. I have. Fantastic.
Ah, uh, this should unlock two now, right? Yes, it does. Is this the lab researching the stolen data? It should be. It seems no one is here. Let's get this done. What is this? <laughs> oh. What's wrong? It seems Seiron's research has already progressed further than I expected. This is a plan to disperse the drug indiscriminately and turn an entire city into duds. If they use this, they may be able to turn all humans in New Himuka into duds. What is Seiron thinking? Delete that right now. <sighs> What's the matter? Delete the data, Luca. I just had a strange thought. Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if there were no powers? What are you saying? I've thought about it all my life. <sighs> Our society is fixated on the superiority of powers. Whether you have powers or not decides your fate. But if all humans were duds, no one would ever have to worry about powers again. How much tragedy have you seen that would never have happened if there were no powers? Calm down. Do you understand what you're saying? I do. Then you know that no tragedy will be prevented by a weapon like that. People cause those tragedies, not powers. Taking them away won't solve anything. I know this has been bothering you. I get worried when I think I might lose my power too. <sighs> but that doesn't make it right to take them all away. You're the one that is most fixated on the superiority of powers. I apologize. That was a bad joke. Huh? That was... a joke? <sighs> Come on. Don't scare me like that. Don't worry. I've deleted all data related to the research, including the backups. That's a relief. Let's go back. It's dangerous to teleport with so many others around. So we should take the same route we came. Yeah, okay. Let's go. The way he was talking, even if it was a joke, he sounded kind of serious. He must have been really hurting to be tempted by it. I mean, I can understand his, his thought process behind it, sure. Our mission is complete. That was good work. I'm glad nothing happened. You surprised me a little back there. I was only teasing you. Besides, I'll be honest with you. I hated you for a bit. What? It was more jealousy than hatred. I've been a research subject ever since I was young. We're both duds, but your family still loved you. I thought that you could never really understand how I felt. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't know you felt that way. You don't need to apologize. What you said before made something clear to me. We see the world differently because we've lived different lives. And because of that, I think there are things I could learn from you. You're right. I am the one that is fixated on superiority of powers. <laughs> that was in the heat of the moment. I'm embarrassed to have acted like such a child. Are you disappointed that someone like me is a Septentrion? No. I'm glad you told me how you really feel. I hope you'll feel free to be honest with me in the future. You certainly are honest to a fault. Perhaps I could learn that as well. So, should we run back to the hideout? What? It's pretty far. You're here, so why don't we teleport? Stamina is just as important as strength. Let's go. That's not what I meant when I said to feel free. <laughs> it's like we're going for a light jog, buddy. Oh, I always Luca. looked up to my brother's strength, but lately I believe that your kind of strength is what I should aspire to. What? I don't think I'm very strong, though. I don't mean your power or fighting prowess. Perhaps I should say strength of mind. 
You don't compromise. I think I could change if I had your unbending will. Hmm. Why does the S effect? Thank fuck. That. I feel like I'm another step. Yep. All right. Closer to knowing you. Well, I'm taking a step closer too. So it's like we both did. Uh, did I get the thing that I needed for this? I did. Anti suppression. Some for Kyoka. Ah. Banyan analysis. The rare fucking item for that. Oi. Kid. Here you go. Here's some toy construction vehicles. <laughs> this is very nice. You're welcome. I am happy that you like that. Uh -huh. Alright, I know Arashi's got one. Kasane's got one. Arashi and Kasane. Kyoka's got one. Save Kyoka for last. I like Kyoka. Captain Boobs over there. Alright, Arashi, let's get yours over with. Anything for you? Nope. Right, episode. Arashi hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. She also said I was just like someone... I know. I'll call that person up. She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out... Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Oh, that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. <laughs> what? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? Fubuki? I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest. So consider this payback. I can't believe you. Arashi? <laughs> Yuito? What's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Aww. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel that like was a lot? Really? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's good. 
No, it wasn't. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> my vision. It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision, so you'll. I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome. How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Why is she? Why is he allowing Just her to download one. things straight to his brain? You're a good one. Come on. Do I look like a good girl? I'm talking about you. Public impression will often hold you back in life. I just thought it must be hard for you. <laughs> You're always so nice. Thanks. Ah. Long as ass effect. You are become. Alright, so apparently we're just supposed to stand here until it pops. Trophy. But it's these two posters. soon it's been more than a few seconds Why isn't it popping? Why? I need to know. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the brain map. Stop in front of the OSF poster and hide out. it ping Requires you to look at the recruit poster in the high house gym. Made about 30 seconds and then it. Oh, fuck. And it popped. That's just exactly the way that the fucking picture. On the Reddit page here looks. 
Some are saying like 30 seconds, some are saying like three fucking minutes. Like... What? Like, what the fuck? Uh, is it bugged? Let's see. Just assume where you're standing because it might be just standing in the right place. Gee, fuck. Why is it so like uh pissy with it, right? Like, what the fuck? What's what's this? Gifts potential bug on that one. Great. Um, hmm. Still waiting. Still waiting. Let's, let's see. Let's let's check out this a small YouTube video about it. wasn't even like the angle that I was but like yeah, pop for him no problem Ten seconds. Oh, it's been more than that. Finally! That's the one! Right there! Stop in front of the OSF post! Fuck! Alright, Kasane... Get over with. <laughs> Trophy achieved! I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. Hey, Kasane! Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? I thought it would be best to talk some more private. I also want to get some combat in. So you want to get some oh, field God. training? All right. Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. Mm. 
Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... <laughs> no, wait. I guess she raised you first. God damn mother it. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only <laughs> Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. Big Sis. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. Really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her, but she is like a big sister, 